Are you looking to have an automated booking system with ManyChat so that your chatbot 24 hours a day will allow your customers to put time on your calendar using Calendly? In this session, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step my best practice to create a booking flow. And I'll show you all my tips and tricks in this video. Hello, I am Smarty with the ProEdge Marketing Team. I apologize for being late on this next video here. Uh, it's been about 10 or 12 days. I've been caught up in a new version of my chatbot as well as following my Eagles getting their way to the Super Bowl. Go Eagles! So let's dive in and let me show you how easy it is to create a booking flow in ManyChat so people can automatically put time on your calendar. Let's hop over to ManyChat and let's get started. Okay, over here on ManyChat, I created a very simple flow that we're going to go through in detail, so I'll show you all my tips and tricks. So let me go ahead and open that up. So if I hit the edit box, uh, what you're going to do is you're, I'd like to always start out with a welcome. So when somebody somewhere in the bot says, hey, I want to schedule time on my calendar, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is have a contact us flow to say, hey, first name. We look forward to con connecting with you. Here's my contact information. And then the, one of the tricks that you're going to want to use is inside of the bot flow is have what we call bot fields. And the bot fields will have all your regular data. Of course, you could just type in text, you know, your first name, last name, email, phone number, website. But it's a much more elegant way to have bot fields store that data. So wherever you're at, you could just use the bot field to re, uh, pull in your data. So let me show you where that is real quick. So if you come over here to settings and come down here to fields, right up at the top is the bot fields and then you'll have all these fields here. So in my ProEdge chatbot, I have tons of rules and data. Um, you'll see that I have things like the brokerage name, the chatbot name, but down here is where my email is and my first and last name. So all that information you could have as a bot field and then when you're back here at the flow, um, when you're inside that flow, I'll just open it back up again and edit it. Um, that's what I'm pulling in right here on the uh, on the page here. So I'm pulling in my uh, full name, uh, company, phone number, email, and my website. Then what I do is I say, hey, uh, call us now or schedule time for us to call you later. So I have a schedule call button, and this is just using a standard button. So if I click on this, uh, you'll see over here um, on the on the button, uh, I'm, I have a button and I use a little Calendly. So if you want to know where that calendar came from, it's this little uh, uh, smiley face. Uh, ManyChat has lots of uh, icons you can use. So I just use a, a calendar here and I can you know, put two calendars on either side. You are limited to the number of characters you have on buttons. So pay attention to that. It'll turn if I start putting in more ca characters, you'll see it's negative two. Um, you can't go over their limit. So Make sure you you, uh, you set it up the way uh, they require. Uh, this one here is interesting. So this one, um, I am using what's called a phone number. So if I cancel this for a second, um, when you create a button in ManyChat, you can say call and then you can put in a parameter. So when you click in this field, that's what these three uh, or two little squiggly lines are. You can access all your fields. So I always call mine, like in my bot fields, I call them your for me, um, your first name and stuff. So I would go in and just grab it that way and, uh, and set it up, you know, to call so-and-so. So if I wanted to do call and I may want to do a little uh, icon here, so I'll do a little phone. So I'll say phone and I'll say call and then I'm gonna put my first name in that field because if I'm using this uh, with a, t a bunch of team members, um, uh, you wanna have the ability for each team member to have their first name. So I'll say call uh, Smarty now. Now what I'm using here is the call number. So inside of uh, the number, um, you're gonna tell ManyChat what number to call when they push that button. So you could put a specific phone number here or you could say custom field and my custom field is your phone number i have a field for your phone number so i'm just going to stick that in there so that is the number so if they click on this button my phone's going to ring and i also always get people calling me directly uh, i make it real easy for them to contact me through my bot um, or a lot of people will say schedule call and they'll pick a time sometime in the future to talk to me so this is a very powerful flow now here's one of my ninja tricks. So I use tags everywhere. So one of the uh, things you wanna do is you wanna make an intelligent bot. So um, if uh, somebody already gave you the phone number or email, 
uh, for a call, um, why ask them again? So what I do in the scheduling, and you'll see further back in this flow, um, I'm going to have a tag set on the person that says they entered their phone number after they put their phone number in. And then uh, I have a, what you'll see what uh, another tag that's being used right here is I have a tag said schedule call start. So I always want to know, I tag them when they're starting the conversation. Uh, I remove the book meeting because that was, a, they could have booked a meeting last week to talk to me. So I remove that tag. And then later on in the flow, I'm going to say that they booked a call you know, book the meeting, and then I'll send out a trigger word to send a notice out to me. So these are some of the tricks you're going to do in chatbot marketing. You'll use a combination of conditions and tags um, and so forth uh, with different actions so that you have an intelligent bot. So uh, if they already entered the phone number, I go right to the next step. And um, and then I'm going to show you some other things that I do here in the in my, my complex flow here. Um, but if they haven't given me a phone number, now I'm going to ask for the phone number. Now, this is a user field. So down here, you have a user input type. And if I click on that, I'm using the phone type. And then here, I'm going to set as a, a system field. So that's important. So in many chat at the user uh, contact record, uh, you want to have a phone number set. And then they opted in for, uh, for SMS. So you could text them a reminder for the meeting. So you could check that right here. Or you could elect to uncheck this and then maybe ask them another question, say, do you mind me texting you a reminder? And then if they say yes, then you opt them in. If not, you don't opt them in. So that's up to you and your, your process. Now down here, you could you can uh, have a skip button. So if they don't want to give a phone number, they could hit a skip button. If you don't want the skip button, you could just say no skip. So that way, um, you know, they have to give you a phone number. Um, it's also, uh, there's a section on many chat that will allow you to identify, you know, a prompt if they put an invalid number in. So if they don't put in all 10 characters um, for a phone number, um, it can come back and say, please enter it in this way. And uh, the bot will send a little message. Now, a few other things that you see on here in many chat is if the, if the client doesn't respond within uh, so many hours, so maybe we say, you know, if they don't respond within, uh, let me say uh, 20 minutes, I could say a 20 minute response, then uh, what I can do is over here in many chat, they have this, if contact has not been, uh, has not responded. So after 20 minutes, I can come over here and say, hey, um, uh, do you still want to set up a call? And then I can give them a couple buttons and say yes and uh, maybe a not now. So I'll do a not now. So uh, in this case, because, uh, you know, in message marketing, you know, what I always tell people is, you know, uh, people get distracted. So they may be talking to your bot now and the phone rings or they're talking to the bot and the baby's crying so uh they may not respond right away so you want to give them different prompts along the way in chatbot marketing so that you know you if they don't respond in 20 minutes giving your phone number hey just nudge them because maybe they'll come back and this will be sitting in their messenger do you still want to set up a call and maybe tonight they, they come back to messenger they say yeah i want to so if they do uh then um i'll come back and just loop them back to setting up a call and then uh, the other trick I'm going to use, if they say no, I, I come down here and I set up a, what's called a, a not ready tag. So in many chat, I, I drop it down and say an action. And then let me go slower here. Um, what you're doing is you're saying create a new action, add a tag. And the tag I have is not ready. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tag them as not being ready when they say not now. Uh, and then... Um, you could send another message like, hey, we're here when you're ready. Or what I like to do is I start another flow. So I may then send them over to my digital business card. So in my digital business card uh, under Facebook, I have a business card and I'm just going to pass them my business card and say, hey, you know, I understand you're not ready. Here's my contact information if anything changes. So that's another ninja trick you could do on the flow here. Now, once they give you the phone number, I use a, a number of things. What I'm doing is um, I, I do enter phone number, so I tag them. So the next time the bot talks to them, it always checks with that condition that says, uh, have they entered the phone number? 
you know, it's going to bypass asking them for a phone number again. You see them opted in. And then I also have a user field for phone number. So I store the phone number in another value because I may play back that to them. And then once I get a phone number, this is where I'm going to be triggering, uh, uh, sending them to my CRM. So uh, I use a Zapier. And if you check on my channel, I have a couple videos around zapping uh, many chat leads over to your CRM. Um, but uh, I'll set a tag and in, in Zapier, um, I will uh, use a, a tag being applied as the trigger event to send them over to KV Core or you know Chime or Follow Up Boss or whatever you're using. So uh, in here, uh, you'll use those tags. Now, as I continue on, I do a few other things that are pretty advanced. So because I sell a chatbot to realtors, and if you're interested, uh, there's a link below. You can check out meetsmartytherealtor.com. I have a full featured chatbot. Uh, in fact, I just released uh, version seven, uh, which is bilingual Spanish and English, and it works, works on Instagram and Facebook. Um, you want to check that out. So uh, you want me to build the bot for you. Uh, this is a done for you bot. But uh, if you want to keep it simple, um, you can skip this section here. But what I do is because every realtor, some realtors want to use Calendly, some don't. You'll see that I have other condition fields here. So I'll use uh, Calendly or not is a rule inside of my uh, bot field. And if they say it's true, then I'm going to ask them to pick a time on my calendar. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. But if it's not true, then it'll say, basically, it'll go through and say, uh, let me know a good time to call. And then I'm storing that in a callback field. So this is a text reply type. So that way, when I send it off to, uh, a text message to the uh, agent to say, hey, you have a new uh, customer that wants to talk to you, uh, it may say, hey, Mary booked a call. Um, and uh, they want to call in the morning or afternoon or evening. So that's what this will do if it's a manual entry. But here's the magic if you're using Calendly. So you're going to have a Calendly button here. So what I do is I say, perfect, my calendar's up to date. When booking a meeting on my calendar, make sure to select the uh, schedule event button. And then down here, I actually did a picture. Uh, this, this is, you go out to your desk and uh, you can get rid of this picture. Uh, I, I made an image of what it looks like on Calendly, just as a reminder for the person. So when they're in Calendly, because what I found was over the years when we were first doing this, was people were going to my Calendly, they were picking the time and hitting the submit button, but they weren't actually committing the appointment. So there's a two-step process in Calendly. So what I did here was um, I, I, I kind of guided them here in the bot. And then this is where the magic starts. So uh, this is my secret trick uh, to make the Calendly experience much richer for them. So I have a button title called pick a time. And then in the web address, basically what I'm doing is I'm, se I'm, si I'm sending them to my Calendly uh, URL, but I'm actually passing in parameters into the URL so that when they get to Calendly, why should they have to enter a phone number and email again and their name when we already have it here in the chatbot? So this is where the magic happens. What you're going to do is you're going to have your URL for Calendly. And, and again, I use bot fields for that. So the Calendly URL is uh, right here. Um, if you would literally come in here and I'll show you, like if I get rid of this here, um, let me right before the uh, parentheses, I'm going to hit the, the little squiggly lines. And then over here, I'm going to use your and right here, if you come down, um, you'll see that we have a Calendly uh, calendar uh, URL. So I'm going to put that calendar URL right there. Now, here's the format you're going to use. So you're going to have your URL from Calendly. You're going to use a question mark and put the name equals and then put the person's full name. So that is a field inside of ManyChat, the person's full name. And then you're gonna say, and email equals, and you're gonna put the person's email. Now, because I stored in my own field called PE email address, so I, I, I stamped their email, that's what I'm passing into Calendly. And then the last one is A1. So A1 is an optional, because in Calendly the phone's optional. So, um, uh, in this case, I'm using A1, which is the next field down in Calendly, equals their phone number. So now when they go to uh, commit a, a meeting, um, all this information is going to be populated for them. So that's one of the secret ninja tricks I use in making an appointment. And then as I come over here, I put a lot more advanced logic in my bot. So 
um, if I don't get, because I do have a, um, a capability to do what's called a round trip. And I'll do another video on that in Zapier for you somewhere on the channel here in the next couple weeks or months. How to create a round trip experience so that when they go up to Calendly and they pick a time, you want to take that date and time they pick back to the chatbot so the chatbot can fr uh, say a friendly message like, hey, Smarty looks forward to seeing you this Saturday at 9 a.m. So you make the bot very friendly to them after they book their appointment. But I'll go, I'll make another Zapier. That, that requires Zapier. So uh, in this case, um, all that logic is right here in my flow. Uh, and then great, we look forward to seeing you if you need to make any changes. So uh, in the system down here, um, this is where I get into, you know, we if they haven't scheduled time, you know, after so, you know, they went up to Calendly, but I didn't get a, a re response back from Calendly, you know, I'll say, hey, did you did you make sure that you committed the uh, the appointment? But if everything passes out, uh, then over here you'll see a nice friendly message, great John, uh, and then your first name. So I'll say, Smarty looks forward to talking to you, and then the meeting time is what I write back from Zapier. So that's called my friendly meeting time. So uh, thank you. We'll see you you know, see you Saturday at 9 a.m. And then if you have, make any changes, make sure you uh, uh, go to the email uh, to modify the appointment. That's the calendar email. And then lastly, what I do is I'll send a nice uh, reminder. And if I open this up, I did another video on my channel about doing smart reminders. So if I click open this open, this is a flow that I showed earlier on my channel where I use a condition. So if the condition is booked meeting, then it's gonna go over here and send a notice to me. So if I edit this flow for a second and click on this guy and open that up, this is gonna send, hey, J Smarty, uh, Mary just uh, uh, added a call on your calendar. And then I have the time, phone number and email, and you'll see I'm sending an SMS and an email. So I get a reminder when somebody books a time on my calendar. So that's how you set up a, a smart scheduling inside the chatbot. Um, I use a combination of conditions and rules and I use tags so the bot knows where they are in the journey. Did they already give me a phone number, an email? And then it'll uh, uh, take that into effect. So let me go in and just show you real quick how this works. So if I come in here and hit edit, and then I'll hit preview, let's open up Messenger and see if we set this up right. So I'll come in here and it's gonna open up Messenger. And as Messenger opens up on Smarty the Realtor, there we go. So it starts with looking forward to connecting. You'll see it has all my contact information. Do you wanna schedule a call now or, or schedule a call? And now the bot's gonna go through the scheduling activity that we just talked about. So if you remember here, um, it's uh, notice that, uh, what I want you to notice here is it didn't ask me your phone number or email because Smarty the Realtor, because I'm using my own account, I've already given the bot my phone number and email, so it didn't bu bug me for that. So now I go in and pick a time, and now it's going up to the calendar, and it's gonna identify the time that they wanna meet and look at this, all my contact information is in the calendar. All I have to do is hit schedule event and I'm done. How magical is that? If you need any help with this, I'm always here to help you. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you here. We help realtors uh, be more effective through uh, technology, uh, AI, and chatbots. Uh, it's one of my passions, and uh, we're always here to help you. If you have any questions, put some comments down below. I'm, I'm always monitoring the, the queue for questions and comments that you make, and I'd like to hear your feedback. And uh, let's make this a great year. Uh, we're all about lead gen for realtors.